Australia Day at the Australian Open and Finals Day for the women's doubles. Number five seeds, Hungary's Tamea Babos and Kristina Mladenovic from France taking on the Russian number two seeds, Ekaterina Makarova and Elena Veznina. The Russians have three Grand Slam trophies in their cupboard, along with an Olympic gold medal from Rio. But the one tournament which has eluded them has been the Australian Open. And Makarova and Veznina started well, striking the first blow. The first break Game. for the Russians. Makarova Veznina. Babos and Mladenovic quickly got back on level terms and then broke a second time to take the set. Six games to four. The number five seeds. Game in first sets. Babos and Mladenovic. Makarova and Vezina put the pressure on early in the second set. Game. Makarova Vezina. But Babos and Mladenovic reeled off three games in a row to take a commanding lead. The pair could smell a first Grand Slam title together, going over the top when the path was blocked at the net. Ah, good hands from Babos. Too good, wasn't good it? Good recovery, yeah. Mladenovic held her nerve through three break points to serve out the match. Mladenovic and Babos have captured the Australian Open women's doubles title and they've done it in impressive fashion. Squeals of joy as their championship dreams were realised. The emotions overflowing as the pair became the first from their respective countries to claim an Australian Open women's doubles title. Plenty of supporters of all shapes and sizes turned out to see Roger Federer continue his quest for a 20th Grand Slam title. But in his way was the giant killing 21-year-old from South Korea, Hyung Chung. Federer took no time to take control of the first set, steamrolling his way to a 5-1 lead. Game Federer, first game. Game Federer. The Swiss champ's third break sealed the first set in just 33 minutes. Oh, stand and deliver. Six games to one. Federer picked up where he left off in the second set. Absolute ripper. Hampered by blisters on his feet, Chung could only watch as Federer piled on more pressure with another break. Uh, oil painting of a backhand to seal game number four. Chung called the trainer to try and relieve the pain in his feet, but he could only go on for two more games, stunning the crowd in Rod Laver Arena with his early retirement from the match. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, Mr Chung is unable to continue to play in the tires. Further away, this is 6-1, 5-2, And I've played with blisters in, my, in the past a lot, and it hurts a lot. And at one point, it's just too much, and you can't take it anymore. And when you realize you have, there's no way you can come back and you make things really worse, uh, it's better to stop. That's why this one feels bittersweet. Clearly, I'm ex incredibly happy to be in the finals, but not like this. Federer will meet Marin Cilic in the men's singles final on Sunday.